Okay, everyone, we've got um, Luke Jacobson and Paul Ray. Oh, that one. It's working. It's working. <laughs> okay, what's the start? Tupo, just what does it mean to you um, to be here in France preparing for your first World Cup? Um, yeah, I'm definitely grateful and blessed. Um, you know, made the team back in 2020 and uh, it's been a goal ever since to be a part of this team heading into the Rugby World Cup. So, yeah, I'm definitely grateful. I remember when you first made the team and the video of you telling the family that the rounds, um, it must be a really special time for your family as well, for you to be here and, and realising that dream. Yeah, oh, since you brought it up, um, yeah, definitely feeling emotional right now. Um, yeah, I guess it's another dream come true, really. Um, there was definitely no tears this time telling them, but um, yeah, I, I guess there was just heaps of um, you know prayers and that sort of thing, and um, yeah, well, truly grateful. Was it when you get to the, the kind of cat presentation and the official welcome and, and stuff like that that? Was that kind of the moment it all started to feel real that you were actually here? Yeah, definitely. It started to sink in once we um, got into that place and um, yeah, once we received our caps and our medal, of course, yeah, it all started to sink in. Look for you, um, second time around, um, but this one must feel a little bit nicer than, than 2 0 Yep, um, I'm all ready to go um, in this week, so it's awesome to take off that last game, um, get here, and no, really excited to get into it. But like you said, it was awesome, um, first ceremony, opening, that's when it's sort of really started to um, kick in that way at the World Cup. It's also been awesome um, arriving in Lyon and getting around the place here, it's an awesome, awesome place, looking forward to exploring it. Friday. Is that kind of crazy to think about? Yeah, it's um it's been awesome. Um, back in twenty twenty one there was four of us and um yeah, it's definitely you know awesome to rub shoulders with another Wesleyan and yeah, I guess this weekend there's another chance I get to rub shoulders of um, Antonio, so yeah. Can you quite believe I guess the, the journey you've been on to get here? I guess, you know, only about three years ago yeah, I guess three years ago I was um, at home, locked down, um, building temple fences with my old man and um, yeah, just to get that call from my old rugby CEO at the time to come play for that Super Rugby Aotearoa was, you know, another dream come true. I always wanted to play for the Chiefs and um, to get my chance uh, to be a part of the All Blacks was, um, yeah, again, another dream come true as a young Kiwi boy and yeah, I guess I just took off both hands and um, yeah, just enjoyed the journey really. On the Chiefs, um, obviously, you know, spent a lot of time with Brody, who's still got that injury. What sort of advice or words of encouragement has he been sharing with you? Well, I guess the other day you were saying the Rugby World Cup games are different and um, yeah, for this is my first year, is, you know, just getting around those players that I've um, been been here for a long time and been through those tournaments and won it. So I guess just trying to embrace it, um, embrace the different arenas that we're going to be playing in and definitely the crowd. You know, the French crowd is, they've got a different buzz really and um, they get into the games more and yes. Yeah. Luke, is there a sense of unfinished business with you and, and World Cups given what happened in 2019? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, Really looking, well, hopefully get a chance to play along the way and really looking forward to just ticking that box and then um, being able to look forward to what's ahead. Um, obviously, sort of got the carrot dangled in front of me last time around. Um, went home, we managed to stay around and watch the first game, which was cool, see what that was about. But um, I imagine it's going to be a different beast being able to play in it and um, hopefully contribute as much as I can. Given there's going to be, you know, you're up against France first up, host nation, the, the noise and the expectation around that team coming in as one of one of the favourites for this tournament. Is there any way that the All Black group can kind of fly under the radar getting into that opening game? Um, oh, look, I don't think we're worried about flying under the radar or anything like that. We're just going out there and um, trying to have the best performance we can each, each um, game day. 
And I mean, if we do that, it probably won't be flying under the radar. <laughs> but um, yeah, look, I don't think that's too much on our mind. We'll just go out there and try and um, keep building as a team and um, evolve into a team that's good enough to win this World Cup. Um, yeah, look, it was a little bit, um, I guess, disappointing for me having to come off in the first half. I was hoping to um, get some decent minutes, but at the same time, it's um, just the nature of the beast sometimes, and um, it was a tactical move. They needed a lock out there. Um, we were unfortunate that we, um, yeah, Scott got red carded for the game. But, look, I think I think it's um, it was pretty clear from the review that we probably need to be a bit cleaner there in that discipline area. It's tough to win games when... Um, when the penalty counts that high, so uh, we take a look at ourselves and get that right, um, and then hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah. Luke, I guess in the, in the context of what did happen in, in 19, what would it mean to you if you got the chance to, you know, run out on the start of France on Friday, hear the anthem in front of the, the full house? Yeah, um, no, it'd be awesome. I've, uh, I was here in 21. I didn't get the chance to play. Um, against France, but I got to a little taste of the atmosphere. Um, I'm sure it'll probably be even more come um, round one of the World Cup. But um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll start getting excited for it if it, once I know if I'm playing or not. But um, yeah, it's definitely a huge goal, and hopefully, hopefully it does happen. Yeah. Luke, as a, as a forward pack, it sounds like you guys are starting to do some pretty good work in, in Germany. Um, yeah, like, yeah, we got into a bit of work, but I think a lot of it was more around our technical game and um, the detail around some of our movements. So we're really, um, Jace was really trying to, um, I guess, coach us rather than train us and um, upskill, upskill us and what, what we're doing and around, I guess, our malls, our defence, um, just all, all things that Fords do, scrummaging. <laughs> um, so I think we got a good hit there and I think this week will probably be a little bit more of the work and um, making sure the fitness levels are there for, for Friday. So the shift from what you've done this year, would you say it's more technical as opposed to, you know, um, full-on physical training? A shift uh, from what I've done previously with the All Blacks? Yeah, so far this year was it more technical rather than um, physical training? Yeah, it was just probably more technical. You don't usually get the chance um, to go over that sort of thing. When you've got a game at the end of the week, you'll probably a little bit more pressed for time um, and you just get to have to, have to nail off the rocks that you, get, that you think are most important. Whereas last week we didn't have a game in the weekend so we had a little bit more time. It was a little bit more of a, a camp situation um, and I guess they got to touch on some things that we wouldn't usually get time for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.